Java's magic bytecode. Now, what is bytecode and how it is termed as that it is a magic of Java? In other in other language, what happens? Like when we write a code and when we compile it, it get convert converted into program. But in Java, what happens? When you write a code and you compile it, it becomes bytecode. Now, this bytecode is again interpreted using an interpreter and final program is made. Now, why there is a concept of bytecode? This bytecode makes all the programs made on Java platform independent. How? This is done with the help of Java Virtual Machine or also known as JVM. Now what happens? Like when you are compiling a code and you use a compiler to compile a code it uses different technology in 32-bit system, different technology in 64-bit system. It is different for Windows. It is different for Mac. So in other than another language, what happens when you compile the code, that program is suitable for only that type of compiler. Like only for if it is compiled on 32-bit system, it will only run in 32-bit system. It, if it is compiled in 64-bit system, it will only run in 64-bit system. But what happens in Java, when, a, when you compile the Java code, it gives you byte code. And this byte code is compatible with all the types of system, whether it is 32-bit, 64-bit or any other. Now, what, why, how this is compatible? When this byte code is made, this byte code is fund, further processed by the JVM. Now, suppose... Suppose you have a machine which is Windows 32 bit, Windows 64 bit, and Linux 64 bit. Now, you each of these systems first you have to install JVM in this. Now, all these JVMs. JVMs have different versions for 64-bit, 32-bit and Linux. So you install JVM in each of these system. Now when you are passing this bytecode, which is same for all of these three, you send the bytecode to the system and this bytecode is processed by the JVM of all the machines. Now this bytecode or all your programs are compatible with all the three types of system present here but the JVMs are different so what happens is like when you write a program we generate a bytecode for it and give it to all the users now all the users they have installed their uh, respected JVMs in their system and this programs become compatible with all of these three system this is the magic of Java like this the programs are compatible with all types of system